Hi there! In this tutorial we're going to look at how to export your Blackboard classes and import them into Schoology. I am here at my Blackboard class and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to the class management menu. Under packages and utilities I'm going to select export archive class. From here I need to click the export package button. It doesn't really look like a button but if you click on it it will pull up this page here. Everything under file attachments is correct and you can leave that as the default. Under select class materials you're going to choose select all which will check all the boxes and then you're just going to click submit. You will know it was successful if you get this green bar at the top that says success. This action has been queued and email will be sent when the process is complete. This process can take a while depending on the size of your class, so just be patient. You can click refresh to see if it's arrived yet, but you can also just wait for the email. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these that I've already done for this class so you can move on to the next step. Blackboard has now zipped up this whole class as what's called a zip file. It's compressed, it takes all the different things and puts it into one little file. I need to then download this to my computer so that I can upload this zip file to Schoology. One thing before we move on though is if you happen to be using Safari browser, Safari defaults to um, automatically opening up any downloads you have that are safe files and that will open up this zip file so it's no longer a zip and then it won't work. So. If you happen to use Safari, you'll need to go all the way up at the top. I don't know if you can see this in the screen capture, but if you click on the word Safari, you can choose Preferences. And then on this first General tab, go here and click Unclick Open Safe Files After Downloading. This will prevent it from automatically opening up your zipped up folder. I'm going to X out of that. All right, so now I've got it so it's not going to zip or open up my zip file, I'm just going to click on this. It's actually hyperlinked. I'm not going to check this download menu. I'm just going to click on this. This will automatically start the download process. It will go into my downloads folder. All right, so now I can head on over to Schoology. And I'm just going to go up here to the top and click on resources. Resources is like your file cabinet for Schoology. I can put anything up in resources and then have that available to me in any of my other classes. From resources I'm going to choose this drop down arrow right here and now I'm going to import that zip file. I exported before so now I'm importing. For import from I'm going to select blackboard zip file and because I haven't already created a folder uh, for this I'm going to say it's a new collection and I'm going to call it something that makes sense for when later I'm trying to figure out where I put this blackboard class. Okay, click next. This is just letting you know about the types of things that school G does and doesn't support question wise. I'm going to choose attach file and I'm going to look in downloads for that zip file that I did earlier. Export file hslibraries.zip, that's the one. If you have one like this that's a, the same name but it looks like a folder, that means that Safari has automatically unzipped your folder and it won't work. So you'll have to go back and uh, set it so it doesn't unzip it. I'm going to choose zip and choose. If for some reason it fails on this screen, it probably means that your zip folder, your zip file, is greater than 10 gigs. It's not very likely though, so if that happens to you, you might just want to get in touch with your digital learning coach to problem solve. Okay, once it's finalized, it will say complete. This process can take a while depending on the size of your zip file. I'm going to click import. And I'll get a green bar at the top again to let me know that it's it's doing its thing. I can click on transfer history to check on its progress. And I'll note the status. It'll say pending. If you want to see what it looks like when it's complete, this is an earlier one I did. If I click on this, it shows all the different 
links and folders that I had in my original Blackboard class. From here, I'll be able to go to any class I have, and if I go to Add Materials, I can import from Resources. And then I can just locate where that folder I created. I can either choose all of the content from the Blackboard class and just wholesale move the whole shebang right into the class, or I can pick and choose. Maybe I just want this folder right here, and I'm just going to import that one. It'll ask, this is everything in that folder. Is this what you want to include? Yep. And it will go ahead and drop all that into the class. There's my folder that I imported. That is the basic process. So like always, if you have any questions or you get stuck, don't hesitate to reach out to your building digital learning coach.